challenge as well for Haryana. This is also a star-studded lineup. Tamil Nadu wins a toss versus Haryana, and they have chosen court. And uh, Haryana is going to start with the first raid. And uh, in fact, Haryana looks super loaded at this point in time. At least, are playing seven looks super loaded. Uh, and uh, Radhika just a wee bit ago said that you know both teams claim uh, ownership over Kabaddi. We have one <laughs> exactly. symbol here putting it right. <laughs> Tamil Nadu <laughs> is the birthplace of Kabaddi and uh, the mother-in-law's home is actually Haryana. So hopefully uh, we are mm. looking to share uh, the honours. Mm, of course, Apu, in between, you know, even Andhra Telangana comes in claiming it and Maharashtra also comes in. So where do all they stand? On the all the relatives. <laughs> yeah, you relatives sit on the sideline and have your Gongura mutton, man. Uh, of this course, one this is would us. be <laughs> Jaydeep Daya. This player, we have a witness on the Prokabaddi mat as well. What a phenomenal player he is. And this is Ashu Malik again. He was from the Yuva Kabaddi mat, Apu. And we have seen him growing leaps and bounds from there. Ashu had a magical run this time in the PKL season 10. And he performed brilliantly in the absence of his teammate Naveen Kumar. 468 rate points, 68 matches. Look at that strike rate. This guy mm. was a legitimate superstar. And it's it, he has built a legacy for himself just with this one season. And when mm. everyone had written his side off after the injury of his star teammate, Ashu took it on his shoulders to tell, tell the world... No worries, I'm there. I've got you covered. Ajit and Kumar. This, uh, we yeah, Ajit Kumar. Ahead. Again, uh, one more promising player from Pro Kabaddi Editions. Uh, 460 rate points, 79 matches played. 50% is the rate strike rate for this player. And on in the yellow jerseys, uh, we have a Tamil Nadu team. With the blue, we have Haryana. So Tamil Nadu had won the toss. And a dupke. It's a multi-pointer for Haryana in the first rate. Dude, that's a painful start for Tamil Nadu because the first raid itself has proven very, very successful for Haryana. That one, Rajesh Narwal picking up points. And you don't usually see Rajesh in this role, mm. but this is where what the Nationals does. You're able to showcase your natural game. Mm -hmm. Rajesh Narwal also, the uh, initial, inaugural season of Pro Kabaddi, when Jaipur won the uh, you know trophy, he was a very, very key player in there. Allur Satish, also known as Satish Kannan, goes back empty-handed. Haryana already have two points in their kitty, thanks to Rajesh Narwal. Ashu Malik comes in, very, very dangerous player, uses his, not just his wit, his wile, and also his fitness to get ahead. This is what we're talking about. He's almost wiped out the entire mat of the Tamil Nadu side. Super raid, no, this is a super or super raid. Exactly. Oh my God, it's a blow. Four pointer for Ashu Malik. Yuva Kabaddi to Pro Kabaddi and now to the 70th Senior Nationals. I'm sure we'll be seeing him on the in the Indian jersey soon. And look at the stretch he had for the midline. Ajit Kumar gets trapped and Haryana making sure that their defensive unit is also working in unison. So even though he picked up a bonus, Haryana have three all-out points. So that all-out has come in within two minutes of two play. Minutes. Outstanding work. Absolutely. It was kind of a suicide raid from uh, Tamil Nadu. He went deep in, uh, just got that uh, bonus. Uh, Rajesh Narwal. One of the experienced players of the Pro Kabaddi mat. But then, yes, he plays for the state. You're saying that was a suicide rate. I would say uh, the, the defense was a suicide attempt. They're attempting to hold down Ashu Malik. What was the need for four people, right? That was Harakiri there. Absolutely. I mean, uh, they have to start somewhere, Apu. So that's the reason no, they tried. No suicide, but then... is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is Ajit Kumar. Again, a brilliant raider. Goes for the running hand touch on the left cover. Whom does he get? Jaydeep Dhaya. A good touch point for Ajit, even though he's not going to take too many risks. At least he can get those single touch points and keep the clock, uh, the scoreboard ticking. That's important. Now it's important that they hold down Ashu Malik and send him to the bench. And look at that, how he is using his height and weight and also using the defensive player as momentum to shift the balance over to the other side and get safe. 
Absolutely. The backtracking skills, full on. And I think when you go for the frontal blocker, the defender need to put the weight on the radar. That did not happen. And Ajit Kumar is a solo ranger trying to get those points in all raid attempts. And this is a beautiful block. It's a tit for tat from Jaydeep Daya. Just before this one, he got better of Jaydeep and now Jaydeep gives it back. Although the bonus is good, Ajit was dashed outside and he had no opportunity to cross the midline any which way. And coming back inside for Haryana is Mohit Goyat. Mohit also part of the championship side this year of the professional unit. Puneri Paltin is back in action. And a quick touch point is what he gets. Another workhorse who's capable of doing everything that's required of him on the mat. Absolutely. That to in a defense of five at this radar. Traveling across the court and he fakes it to be on the right corner. But then the right in was his target. This is uh, Ram Kumar M. A right radar. But then look at that. Whom do we have on the left corner? Attacks the right plank and he gets a point, Apu. Yes, even if it is one point, get it. But it is important that a person like Ashu Malik, capable of picking multiple points, be sent to the bench. That's what they should be doing. And back again is their nemesis, Ashu Malik. Let him get that one if necessary. Unless you're very sure, don't commit to the tackle is what they must be doing. And you can see Ashu is raiding, going from side to side and mm. churning up the defense, finding, trying to find the open man. Yeah, Ashu Malik uh, from uh, the uh, yeah, Pro Kabaddi mat, what we see is uh, seeing him growing very big and tall from there. And it's so nice to see that. Apo. And from the fr Tamil Nadu squad as well, we have Satish Kannan, Ram Kumar, Velavan, who are from the Yuva Kabaddi mat as well. A nice uh, talent scouting happening there. And of course, uh, there is talent scouting happening at the 70th the Senior National as well. And uh, for uh, the selection committee, whom do we have? Uh, Randeep Singh Sharawat, Ashok Shinde, Manpreet Singh. Just like there are stars on the mat, off the mat in the selection committee too, there is a galaxy of stars. And hopefully, the best of this lot will be given further opportunities to play and also represent our country going forward. And here it is Mohit Goyat trying to pick up a touch point, reaches deep, raids deep. But will he get it? And I think he, no, they're just staying out of reach. That was Ram Kumar who pulled back just in time. In the in position, Mohit Goyat is going to go back empty handed. Yeah, that uh, that's the main responsibility of the in-player, Apu. They need to take control of the corners as well. And uh, yeah, Ram Kumar, this is the player. Again, we'll take pride in him that he is uh, from the Yuva Kabaddi series. And uh, yeah, he's made his mark to the Nationals playing for the state. And hopefully we should see him in the professional leagues, Apu, once he you know, does a better job from here. That's the thing. All of these players have been given a great opportunity to rise and shine and they have to make use of every opportunity and every second on the mat, they must make it count. There is no... Oh, yes! Is that two points? He did get one touch point, but he's counting off on his fingers. Yes, two points two. is what Mohit Goyat gets. And up in a defense of five, look at the gutsy raid from him. He attacks the left corner first and the speed in which he retrieves back on time. And uh, smartness is, you know, he touches the another defender while on the way. Presence of mind, that is very important. Ram Kumar again. Do or die. Will he do or will he die? No. He did. He kills the opponent. He does it. And he also revives V. Ajit Kumar. Very well done because you're making it matter when it is needed the most. That running hand touch picks him that one point and that much needed revival. But in this opposite section of the mat, we see Mohit Koyat coming and trying to inflict damage over there. And he got, uh, uh, I think, we Ajit Kumar. He just got onto the mat and uh, I think he's just been sent off. Is he? A quick visit oh, by Ajit period? Kumar, right? Uh -uh. I know. Uh, 16 to 14. Ajit tough came in like a flying Tamil squad. Nadu. I know, yep. Apu. Very tough. <laughs> I know his revival will be done. 
only the third you know three points if they get not the bonus but the touch points it's important to know your place on and the mat and also be very aware okay. of what is happening ram kumar gets a running hand touch look at that acceleration he takes up on the on to the right corner right cover in fact and mohit go at the consecutive raise from him and a wow what was that that was he just fell flat on the mat but then he, how swiftly he responded to that action that is the thing tamil nadu players were a tad too slow in getting to him when he was you know struggling to maintain his balance that would have been the weakest moment instead they allowed him to recover and go and this time allur satish also known as satish kannan picks Kanan. up a point again from yuva kabaddi satish kannan multi attempts in a single uh, attack first the right cover he escapes but the right corner he could not escape from satish kannan this is ashu malik will he be trapped he has been trapped finally by tamil nadu defense and that would go to abhishek abhishek was there to actually pin him down as well in fact uh, to be it's santapana selvan who actually picked up that point abhishek was there to assist him a quick kick in that corner for ram kumar does he get a point he doesn't he's still waiting for the right moment he's had more success towards the in the uh, right in and right co uh, covers actually and the corner yeah 131 or 8 points in the uva kabaddi series for him 1209 attempts 63% or rate strike rate and he has uh, seen the aage ka rasta the tagline for uva kabaddi that is showing the way forward and see, we see him playing for the state quick um yeah talking with the coaches both the teams uh haryana leading with 6 points over tamil nadu in 10 point uh, i think uh, uh, tamil nadu is not definitely giving up that easily apu just a 6 point deficit i'm sure they'll come back yeah mohit goyath once again a right trader but then he travels across the court for those are eight points this time around he's falling here and there you know those are flying hand touches on the right cover left corner everywhere but then the attentiveness from the tamil nadu is not there you know they would have taken advantage of those falls all the time definitely they need to be a lot more attentive and uh, lightning quick on the mat reflexes but here is it three points or is it two points let's see that referee's hands go up and that fingers go up come on drill raise another finger man no it's only two points uh you can yeah. see that hold that did not catch and also the other player who caught him and then the next player actually fell over him after he crossed the midline so it's only two points Yeah, this is a Rajesh Narwal who's got the first raid points for Haryana with that a dubki. That's where uh, Tamil Nadu just got a little shook from the Haryana team, and uh, yeah, soon uh, they are recovering up with just a four point deficit and not bad at all. Yes, they have shown a lot of pluck and presence of mind, picking off those points and keeping that scoreboard ticking. Ajit Kumar inside now. Ajit has to make sure he stays on the mat rather than going out cheaply to the bench because his presence is important. And Ram Kumar and also Satish have picked up the slack when he was not around to make sure that they get those revivals by touch points. Yeah, in a super tackle opportunity, he did not give that opportunity for Haryana, and this is the do-or-die raid for Rajesh Narwal. now defense for tamil nadu half that patience to tackle him that's where you get the opportunity to convert and all out and yeah for the conversions do or die raise they had one haryana they have got the best of it and this time around it was a do or die does he get it why was he going back what's the verdict of the referee zapu we'll have to wait and see like there's a little bit of confusion over here and uh, there's a lot of 
going, joining back and forth over here. We'll have to wait and see. Even the referees are a tad confused. They'll have to discuss amongst themselves. Uh, referee Arti Bari having her hands full. And Rajguru Subramanyam, again, the coach of Tamil Nadu had stepped in. Now, look at that. A toe toucher. He, he tried on the right corner. But then, did he get that? He was very confident, Rajesh Narwal. But then, you know, I have seen him playing, Apu. He's uh, sometimes... Uh, 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 Rajguru Subramanian, the coach of Tamil Nadu, has also stepped in. But let's see what would be the final verdict. It's a tough it's call. Because favor of Ariana Apu. That's the reason Rajguru yes, is looked, a little furious. It looked like he did get that touch point because... Uh, mm -hmm. But no, they got to, what, what is this? Are they replaying re it? Rewriting re it. Because I think there was no concrete evidence. Uh, they are uh, giving a do or die a re-ride and this time around Tamil Nadu gets the better of the tackle look at that I, I'm not sure whether we can say this is fair but Tamil Nadu got lucky and they made sure that they turned that to their favour by actually you know making sure that Rajesh Narwal was caught looks like there is a small bit of an injury uh, and that to Hari Harasudan may have been injured but there's another person who's looking a little winded and that is uh, Velavan of Tamil Nadu. But they are happy mm -hmm. they got, got him out. Rajesh Narwal, there's a little bit of bleeding as well. That was mm -hmm. a hard tackle. Uh, I know, contact sport. But then these players are much stronger those than uh, those small injuries. Uh, I think a teeth injury. Uh, that's why, uh, is he plucking his teeth? No, uh, no Don't tell me he's plucking happened. his teeth. <laughs> The left corner came with the chain and everybody bounced on uh, the uh, radar. That's where I think uh, he himself was stuck on the mat. Apu. Yeah, Rajesh had a tough fall as well. What happens when, you know, so many 80 kilo, uh, 80 kilo players fall on you? It's not going to be a soft one. Mm. It is a tough one. Getting mm. some. Fun. But then... This is, where the Tam Apu, this is where Tamil Nadu got a little momentum in their favour. Now the players do not want to give up for those injuries. They wanted to stay on the mat. And <laughs> look at that. I'm sorry, That's I'm uh, just having a smile on it. But then the player is trying to, you know, um, show his teeth all the time, Apu. Yes, this is what adrenaline is all about, Radhika. So <laughs> it's important to let yourself ride that adrenaline as far as possible before it starts plummeting down. So this is the momentum that we're all expecting and hoping and very well done by Tamil Nadu to get back into this game. And you can see there are only two people from Haryana on the mat and uh, Super Tackle situation is on. But these two players cannot be taken lightly because one of them is Jaydeep and Jaydeep is a solid defender. And going in Absolutely. is Ram Kumar. Super Tackle opportunity and look at the way he escapes from the thigh hold of the right corner. Good escape from Ram Kumar and Haryana is slowly being pulled, you know, pushed to the all out. Now, will they substitute Jaydeep for a raider? So, Mohit Nandal is out, and this time coming in is actually Nitin Kumar for the raid. Dankar, and Jaydeep has Nitin been Kumar up, Dankar Apu. I need to talk about him. He is again a Yuva Kabaddi pride, Nitin Kumar Dankar. What a phenomenal player he was. And we have seen him doing very well uh, for the Gujarat franchise as well. Now, this one. Oh, my God. 308 points in Yuva uh, attempts and 272 rate points in Yuva 88% is the rate strike rate for this player. Oh, no. There's been a self -out. points. Uh -uh. Radhika, while you were extolling the virtues of Nitin, hmm. there has been a self-out for Tamil Nadu. And uh, there is going to be a bonus revival as well. because he's picked up a bonus as well. Mm -mm. Look at that. The right cover went out. Oh my God. That was an easy revival for Haryana. Uh, one more touch point from Ajit Kumar. That was so quick. Now they need to play patiently and play in the boundaries. Tamil Nadu. This is where you get the best of the... And also you will also equalize if you... Try and tackle this player without giving the bonus. I think they just need to be patient and wait for the right moment to either strike or hold or just let him go. Nitin Dankar Patience once will again. Be rewarded. Yeah, Nitin Dankar 
got the bonus but then this time around the tamil nadu defense did not falter at all this superlative effort from tamil nadu get the best of the team and and first all out points for tamil nadu what a comeback apu outstanding comeback and although they have conceded a bonus they are now well within striking distance to to actually pinning down haryana and probably pulling off a victory as well momentum is definitely in tamil nadu's hands or just a one point lead separates and as we know it this is this is quite exciting and uh, more than anything else the comebacks have been outstanding outstanding absolutely we've just done with the 15 minutes of the match and lot of excitement already for the pre quarter final number 2 tamil nadu the runners of a pool e the winners of a pool d haryana and tamil nadu is giving a good fight back so will that be the tamil nadu or haryana moving forward very tough one because we still have 25 minutes and i don't definitely envy the referees for this match radhika they have their job cut out for them because it's going to be very very close going forward the calls already we have seen a lot of drama and uh, it's not going to be it's not going to get easier going forward definitely nice. not and what a brilliant kick by ajit kumar appu and this brings an equalizer for both the teams the 18 all what a comeback look at that he did not waste any time appu he faked it for a bonus and as soon as the defender slightly bent he gave him a brilliant kick ashok malik the nemesis for tamil nadu is back on the mat it's important they tackle him and send him out to the bench for as long as possible and not mm -hmm. allow revivals because he's and as dangerous side. as they can come up on the other side madhya pradesh is playing against her uh, services and madhya pradesh is leading by two points over services so anything would happen on the kabaddi mat because every 30 seconds a new story comes up very true and will he escape no he has been tackled there is no reprieve for ram kumar this time the left corner for haryana gets it right and that point is going to go for number 4 akshay kumar of haryana picking up that ankle hold and that point yeah still one point to lead for haryana and ashu malik steps up he need to step up big to get into the quarter finals not enough these efforts not enough because tamil nadu got the momentum now especially the defenders and ram kumar ajit they are doing it well and running oh my god this was not required not required from the defender because the raider was already going back up i completely agree with you but the only thing i approve at this point in time is the other stepping back and saying we'll sacrifice one but not we are not taking the bait and all of us landing on him that was hari hari sudan making that impetuous mistake that is going to be expensive for them yeah rajguru subramanian again he was uh, playing as a first captain for the telugu franchise in the pro kabaddi league appu now he's a coach of the tamil nadu state for the senior national 70th the senior nationals and he played for the jaipur franchise as well yeah just two points is... separates these two teams and uh, that is once again allur satish satish kumar coming in for the raid they're playing a little bit of a high line defense they don't want to concede any points but he has walked straight into the trap set by the chain tackle over there and they get it right ashu malik is part of that chain and is making sure to send satish to the bench that and that be... was krishandul krishandul again from yuva kabaddi appu so the right corner of uh, haryana is krishandul mohit goyet now uh, how quickly uh, you know they are uh, giving up an all out here appu you know just they struggled so much to get an all out from haryana now they just giving up so easily what was the need for the tackle this is where you get too confident and make start making those mistakes thinking that nothing can go wrong you have to be careful but this time being very careful on the mat is haryana because they made sure that ajit is going to be sent to the bench even though ajit has picked up one bonus he's going to have to sit out and wait for the revival you can see how they dashed him out and that was brilliantly mm -hmm. done jaydeep by jaya. rajesh narwal and jaydeep 
Yeah, it's a super tackle opportunity for Tamil Nadu. Mohit Goyati gets deep in for a touch point. And he gets it. So, last man remaining for Tamil Nadu. This is what you can say is harakiri or suicide because Tamil Nadu have dug themselves and put themselves in a hole just after they seem to be stepping out of one. And all out now and Haryana have a much bigger upper hand at this point in time. After mm -hmm. looking at a massive, mm -hmm. massive comeback, they are now once again looking on to be on top and comfortably so. Mm, absolutely. And Ashomalik, again, a quick raid from this raider. Checks with the team whether the bonus is done or not. But then a kick attempt and nothing gets the defense slightly. They need to be patient here, Tamil Nadu. Every 30 seconds. Mm. Mm. Sorry, Radhika. Every 30 seconds, Tamil Nadu has to rethink their strategies, realign mm. themselves, get committed and do what is necessary. It's not enough to have the intent. You have to br bring the content to the floor. What a dubki! Outstanding! Getting out of that chain is Ajit Kumar. This is what he's capable of. Two points on the trot. You can effect a change and once more bring a comeback. They have to commit to every 30 seconds. Mm, absolutely. A chain tackle from the left. A dubki from Ajit Kumar worked out. And this is Rajesh Narwal. Again, a six-point deficit for Tamil Nadu. Almost on the verge of finishing the first uh, half. But then a nice block and a dash coming in from the far corner. The left corner takes it all on Rajesh Narwal. Brilliant defensive efforts. Layer by layer, co layer combination tackles here. Rajesh Narwal goes to the bench and look at the excitement on uh, Velavan's face because he was really, really enjoying that and coach Manpreet Singh is actually sitting and watching and trying to pick out the future mm. stars going forward he's scouting mm -hmm. indeed and he's got a pad in hand mm, absolutely but this time he's on a national duty so I'm sure he'll take few pages from there for the franchise leagues as well Apu definitely I mean why waste an opportunity as good as this <laughs> Six point difference is what Tamil Nadu is looking at and Haryana have the upper hand going into this half it's Haryana's owned this so far although Tamil Nadu did effect a fantastic comeback you can see the match summary here 17 rate points to uh, Tamil Nadu in fact Haryana have only 16 tackle points if you see there are a couple of points that separates in favor of Haryana and then there are all out points where Haryana actually picked up two more than Tamil Nadu did mm. and you have those extra points and the super raids coming in and that one super raid by Ashu Malik was quite beautiful to watch and uh, you can see the successful raids 11 of 22 that's 50 percent whereas um, 12 of 22 marginally higher is what um, Haryana enjoys and even the successful tackles look pretty much the same except that Haryana is marginally better do or die rage 100 percent for Tamil Nadu whereas one of two 50 percent for Haryana. So bonus points, Tamil Nadu have actually done well thanks to Ajit because he kept picking off those bonus points. You can understand how important it is to pick up those bonuses, especially when they are available because it can stand mm. you in good stead. Absolutely. Eight rate attempts, eight rate points, 100% rate strike rate. And of course, uh, this one that got an all out for the team as well. Yeah, when you take those bonus points, up, the team would not be under the pressure of an you know, do or die raid as well. And this is a dupki. In the last few seconds of the first half, impressive. That's a beautiful dubki. One of those highlight moments from this particular match. The best defender of this match has been Jaydeep. And uh, he has picked up two tackle points. Total of three tackle points. So, very well done. Both teams are struggling tooth and nail, fighting tooth and nail rather. And Tamil Nadu have effected a beautiful comeback and then managed to put themselves in a hole. And once again, they're trying to, attempting to dig themselves out of it. Hopefully, they will see them in good stead because the loser of this competition is going to have to pack up and leave. So, this is important. This is a pre-quarter final. So, from now, it is winner takes all. That's what is going to happen. You've got to stay alive by picking up those victories. Else you can bid your goodbyes, say your fond farewells and leave. Mm. 
yeah as a, as the pre quarters or the knockout stages of the tournament you know only the winning team will move forward and play the quarter finals and the losing team they need to go back and this is if you go back also up on the other side if you look at maharashtra is also leading uh, a lot many uh, you know matches happening simultaneously now coming back to the live action 28 to 23 haryana is leading by 5 points on tamil nadu Fifty-five percent success rate, raid success rate for Haryana versus fifty percent to Tamil Nadu. So a lot is now riding on the defensive units of Tamil Nadu to especially ensure that players like Ashu Malik are going to be sent to the bench and kept there for as long as possible. Satish, yeah, Satish Kannan, defense of four, a tough call for the raider. Yeah, he goes back empty-handed. He knows that it's not in his favorable position, so he goes back empty, which is a good one as well. You know, you should know when to bend low as well, not firing all the time. Ashu is back, and uh, full mat of players for Tamil Nadu. They need to be patient with him and not commit to any advanced tackles because that would spell doom. They need to draw him inside deep and try to tackle him somewhere near the bonus line. That's their best success chance. Yeah, both the teams are slowing down the momentum. Apo, they want to take it down the bar. Now, I think uh, Tamil Nadu need to have those quick empty raids. If it's an empty raid, do not waste the time. If True. you have an intention you to attempt, then go for it. that really makes a lot of sense because you get more opportunities and they have to use those opportunities if you're not going to commit then don't do it don't hang around use the time wisely because there's just one half left and here it is ashum malik claiming to have picked up a touch mm -hmm. point over there from a withdrawing player from the cover yeah easy touch point look at the long leap he has up uses the best of uh, the long limbs now this is the duo die raid and did he go the wrong way he went the wrong way apu the speed he was not able to control and he was not able to take the turn for an escape that's where he's been caught look at that a trap yes. from the right cover completely lost on the mat but he did try to see if he could spin away and un unluckily the defense also spun in the fell in the same direction so he couldn't get the gap he needed to escape to the midline and this time mohit goyat goes in for haryana and uh, tamil nadu are now staring at a 7 point deficit mohit goyat making sure it's an empty raid just uses a time fairly well and he's going to go back hmm. yeah again it's still a 7 point deficit now the raiders need to have those quick raids uh, ajit kumar have the bonus opportunity you are good at it uh, try for it shuffle the defense create a gap somewhere and go for the bonus and this time around he escapes with the speed very well done he keeps a score ticking so that's one point to ajit so even though he looked like he may and that's where the point came from and uh, the victim is going to be akshay kumar who committed to an advanced tackle there this time ashu goes back inside six players on the mat bonus is on but staying out of reach tamil nadu players would do well to be patient and draw him inside and does he pick up that point yeah 22% tackle strike rate for tamil nadu where in 35% for haryana and we are seeing ram kumar after a fairly long break come in for a raid trying to see if he can get a touch point flying and leaping and trying to get that touch point desperately but it looks like it's going to be an empty raid for ram kumar going back inside is mohit goyat yeah this is a mohit goyat he's got a lot of raids opportunities in the first half defense of five patience is the key and a surprise the tackle from the right in what an outstanding tackle there radhika 
get that flying man is he a bird is he a plane hell no he's my victim that's what it is that's what tamil nadu have shown in this tackle beautiful to watch the timing on the tackle and in return they have taken retribution for having Absolutely. lost that one point there they are picking up one this side and dispatching another tamil nadu player to the bench exactly yeah they just giving it back very quickly ashur malik have all the leisure of this raid because it isn't a do or die and he does not need to come it as well because in a defensive five it's always a tougher raider but then again a super again a surprise attack lapo again from the same defender from the right in consecutive surprise tackles and in fact i would say ashu malik failed here because he was too confident of being able to get a touch point and get away but interestingly the raid uh, defenders were ready there and dispatched ashu to the bench this is a great moment to effect a comeback because this is the time that is required and uh, this time ajit is still on the mat so hopefully he should be able to get those touch points and those bonuses whenever it's available yeah touch point wow. that's what it is touches the right corner and picks up one that was such a beautiful raid up he challenges the defense goes deep and gets that touch point on the right corner rajesh narwal coming back inside he's waiting and watching trying to see what he can do there he's trying to see when he can attack but the defense right now need to be patient rather than over confident play the waiting card and use the right moment to actually pick up tackle points going back inside this time is satish yeah defense of four maybe uh, they don't need to challenge this defense up he might as well go back empty yes wait for them to come and commit that's what is important at this point in time rather than going and gifting a point against a mat which has four or five is always very risky rajesh hey, again rajesh not and do yep. you do you know this uh, jaswee singh appo from uh, the jaipur franchise yes you know yes. he was one raider who was uh, definitely irritating the opponent uh, defense by those uh, empty raids and uh, rajesh narwal is taking up that uh, spot now <laughs> you mean to say he's an empty rate specialist okay i'll take that <laughs> uh that guy i mean he used to have that wicked smile on his face while he was uh, you know killing the time up you know that oh, was i remember getting... that face <laughs> i remember that face so well in fact it used to irritate the commentators as well of course and here it is ram kumar trying to look if you're not going to commit you need to get back and force them to come for a quick raid there's no point in wasting time ram kumar please understand you need a different strategy than that mm -hmm. exactly a substitution for haryana still just a 5 point deficit at 13 minutes in the game and one more all out for tamil nadu i think they will pretty they will be pretty much in the contest up well they have to actually pick it up right first so let's not count all the chickens before the eggs are hatched and the tamil nadu defensive unit waiting and playing the oh. waiting game beautifully to perfection velavan dives for that hold and dispatching nitin kumar to the bench tamil nadu is picking up their 28th point you can see how he's waiting over here mm -hmm. waiting to come it and there it is there it is beautifully done great support layer after layer and for mm -hmm. good measure the last man over there is also jumping in that was harihara sudan who jumped in uh, and again a quick super tackle for haryana gets one gives two now look at that uh, goes deep in but then jaydeep with those uh, dashes he is always good at three of them use their body so well to dispatch and pick up that super tackle over there brilliantly done by haryana and this time mohit goyat loses his footing but tamil nadu still playing the waiting game right now he's going to just use up the time and not commit 
But Ram Kumar cannot do that. He really needs to decide what he wants to do. If he's going to wait for the do or die raid, then he's got to go back quick. Absolutely. Attempting a touch point. Uh, 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 did he step into the lobby? Is nothing from the referees for now. But then you need to have that controlled speed on the Kabaddi mat. And a surprise a tackle. He, this was he not essential. Exhausted, Apu. He was exhausted. True. He did not have to commit for that long. There is no pressure on him to perform a do or die raid there. Why would you hang around over there and wait to be tackled and gift a point over there? You could have come back with an empty raid. This is not sensible tactics by Tamil Nadu's unit at this point in time. Hmm. But then again, the score difference is moving in favor of uh, Haryana because they had a super tackle and after which they had another tackle. So they're just coming back together. Now, 10 minutes in the game, 7-point deficit. It really looks like one step forward and two steps back. Tamil Nadu really has to rethink their strategies and start thinking for every raid and every defense and not have a long-term vision. Take it short-term. Create plays for just the 30 seconds and execute them well. That's what you need to do. Break it down. Go down to the mm -hmm. basics. And it's a do or die raid. After a long time, we are seeing a do or die raid for Haryana. Mohit Goyat in a defense of five. Patience is the key for Tamil Nadu. And they waited for the opportunity. Goes for that ankle hold from the left corner. Mohit Goyat has been sent on the bench in do or die. Look at the timing from the corner. That the long stretch did not give him a grip on the mat at all, Apu. Babu Murugesan pulls it off and beautifully. Babu is a complete defensive player. He just needs to rein in his impetuousness and he is going to grow by leaps and bounds. But here, ready to tackle is none other than Akshay Kumar dispatching the Tamil Nadu player to the bench and making sure that the difference mm -hmm. is maintained. Mm, of course, but when in a defense of five, nothing much to do for the Raiders. They need to go deep in to get those points because only when it's do or die raid, Haryana will step in. Otherwise, they'll just cross the block line, go back empty-handed as Asu Malik is doing, uh, keeping an eye on the clock as well, killing that 30 seconds, much needed for the team. All these small little strategies will work out. This is a problem. If you had cut down on your mistakes and not been complacent, you would not have so much to worry about at this point in time. This is what they should have done right from the beginning. Forcing Haryana to a do or die raid. Ashu Malik comes in, not a do or die raid, no pressure on him. So he's still going to go back, probably empty handed and use up the 30 seconds all allocated to him. Yeah. The damage is well done before this one. So they have all the leverage of going for those empty raids. Of course, with those empty raids, the strike rate will go a little down, but that does not matter until unless it will favor the team. And now it is a do or die raid. Ashu Malik comes in. So the pressure is on him to attempt something. You have uh, five players on the mat. Not an easy task for Ashu, but then... Ashu is Ashu and that's what he does. Escape. Beautifully. More than a point. It's how many points? Is it going to be two or is it going to be three? It's just two. Thank God it's not a super eight. But you can see that mm, uh, tackle okay. didn't work out. Beautifully executed Ashu Malik. Presence on the mat is phenomenal. Mm -mm, and has Marvin he crossed was... too little, too little, too late? Unable to cross. Oh. He was just inches away. Absolutely. A tackle point for Haryana. Now, I think there's no looking back for Haryana. Pujaydeep Daya goes for the frontal block. Oh, lovely conversion into a successful tackle. It was very risky though. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If he had picked up those multiple points, then they would have made a match of this. But then that's not happening. Super tackle is on for Tamil Nadu and coming back inside is Mohit Koyat who relishes these moments and... Uh, Keeps relishing them because he has picked up that point and uh, also going to push Tamil Nadu for an all out. And that's a timeout. Those flying hand touches and the last player remaining for Tamil Nadu. What does what can he do? At least go for a suicide raid, a jump into the you know bonus line before you get caught. 
Nagamani has been brought in to do this raid and see if he can inflict, a, you know, get a touch point and uh, get a revival. Instead, he's attempting a bonus there and trying to see if he can get to... Is he? Oh, yes! He has been successful. How many points to his credit? Just bonus and one. That's okay. Nagamani got the job by picking up two points and one revival. A super tackle opportunity for Tamil Nadu. Uh, uh, way to advance uh, standing from the right corner. Well, it was a very easy touch point for Mohit Goet. Why was he even denying? Mm -mm, nothing given, Apu. Nine point difference. Coming in again is Nagamani. Trying to shake things up a bit. They are not giving him the luxury of a bonus, but he does pick up a touch point. Nagamani has been successful reviving one more player. He did not get the bonus, but he did get a revival. One point out of that trade. Brilliantly done, Nagamani. You can do this. Five minutes on. You still have a super tackle here, which you have to convert right now to your credit. Ashumalik is the man inside. There is no do or die raid. So just wait, wait patiently. Absolutely, but Ashu is way smarter. He doesn't want to give that advantage for the Tamil Nadu to have that super tackle. Goes back empty-handed. Yeah, ten, uh, already a super 10 for this player. Except for one oh, he, bonus point, the rest of them all are nine touch points to him. In fact, he picked up five points of two multi-point raids itself. And then the rest came easy to him. Do or mm, die this exactly. time. Now, what this is the that? opportunity. Uh, uh, Apu, wasn't this the opportunity for Tamil Nadu to wait patiently and take the opportunity in their hands? What was wasted, the wasted, wasted, lost opportunity, Radhika? That's what they did. And, uh, and also, they will have another do or die only after, uh, say, about uh, down to two minutes in the match. What would be the fun waiting for that? It that. Uh -uh. That would have been the best opportunity for them. And now it's as good as sorted in favor of Haryana because even though he picked up a bonus, he conceded a point. So it is going to be one man off the mat again. And uh, the all out has come and taking it away from Tamil Nadu is Haryana. So no amount of crying horse is going to say you could have done this better because there were many, many opportunities that Tamil Nadu could have actually come back and taken this away. But Every time they attempted a comeback, they also slid down several notches further by not retaining their attention or not delivering intent with content. Absolutely. Now, it would be too late for Tamil Nadu to even come back, but a beautiful execution of their skills. Apu. I know strategically they failed a little bit, but then playing against Haryana, giving a that tough fight is worth appreciating. Of course, uh, they need to good good bid by good good bid goodbye after this match. <laughs> bid a lose. goodbye, you mean? Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, that would be for the uh, franchisees to bid a goodbye. Many many moments where they could have really gotten the job done, but uh, yes, like you said, uh, some creditable moments, some beautiful moments, great memories. Yes, but. You know, history is written in favor of the winners, right? So this is mm. something that they are going to rue their mischances over. And until the next time, it's going to come back to haunt them. Absolutely. Yeah, this is Ashumalik going back empty-handed. Uh, quick raid. And why did uh, this commitment from the left cover? Easy escape for a Tamil Nadu player. Look at that. They, he did not let the raider sh uh, sh you know, settle in at all. That was Mohit Nandal. And uh, back for Haryana is Mohit Koyat. A 10-point difference. Very, very comfortably up on top. Mohit is going to eat up whatever time is allocated to him and go back empty-handed. And that much mm. closer to a win. Absolutely. In two and a half minutes. Yeah, say two minutes, one minute for Haryana, one minute for Tamil Nadu. One minute, how much can they do? Uh, very tough. And we, Ajit Kumar, has done good so far for the team. And again, he does it well. 
solo player coming in for a block and a small little dukki for an escape yes and attempting to hold him down was akshay kumar who is now back at the bench ashu malik comes in do or die raid so ashu is definitely going to have to commit else concede the point but ashu is not one to concede a point he is going to go and try and pick up that kick which he did beautifully executed and uh, going out is the right cover for tamil nadu he didn't expect that kick coming in a low kick mm. below the knee just swiped his shin absolutely because uh, normally he does not he, he goes for the kick on the corners apo so a running kick uh, that was not expected from tamil nadu defense ajit kumar uh, he did it he did it bit but then you know in patches Yes, there were several moments where Ajit Kumar was relegated to the bench and could not be revived. So those moments on the mat would have actually helped Tamil Nadu. But uh, just like how the match is progressing fast and furious, the screen is also progressing fast and furious in front of us. Fifty-five seconds on the clock. Mm, it should be kind of a last but one raid for Tamil Nadu. A quick bonus attempt. It was good from Ashwinath B. bonus taken but then this should be the last raid for haryana ashu malik steps up 20 oh 10 point deficit still crosses the block line makes the raid legal waits near the block line for the time to finish and there will be time for just one more raid and that will be for tamil nadu and going in quickly is number 8 shrinath struggling there almost a solo tackle brilliantly done brilliantly done what a solid solid tackle that was superb finish there by krishan dul yeah krishan dul he did not give up at all brilliant solo tackle the grip was solid the raider was struggling as well but then it was like you know a fisherman fishing good one <laughs> and finally 11 point victory for haryana from the quarter pre quarter finals to and they will make it to the quarter final from here and tamil nadu uh, sorry to say but uh, yeah hard time uh, we'll see you next nationals yes tamil nadu will have to bid adieu to this 70th senior nationals which you're watching from ahmednagar maharashtra and haryana is going to go forward into the quarter final one of the finer teams in this particular tournament is haryana quite clearly right on top there with the indian railways and the services kudos to tamil nadu for having put up a good fight there could have been much much better moments but it is like we always say what it is and tamil nadu are going to have to go back defeated and ponder on all those missed opportunities and come back stronger next year so in fact the coaches uh, the referees had a tough time a lot of drama in this match we saw uh, especially in the first half mm. and uh, that was a moment when they had a lot of comebacks and uh, they had a, actually a very very good comeback radhika mm. there were two three opportunities raiders, where they could have taken it away especially raiders have done great up ajit with 13 raid points ram kumar with eight you know they have done good and uh, yeah few defensive errors that was the first raid where the haryana steelers uh, sorry haryana has got the momentum in their wing and uh, this four pointer from ashu malik was a game changer for haryana as well and ajit has been uh, you know tackled quite a few times but then he got a super 10 as well he did his bit but then he needed much more support and here you can see the graph itself how Haryana took it away from Tamil Nadu although there were moments where Tamil Nadu looked like they were going to catch up especially in the 13th to the 15th minute but uh, going forward it was always Haryana which stayed one step ahead and there were several moments where Tamil Nadu slipped two steps below and uh, that's where the graph really opens up in in favor of Haryana and they finish on a high mm, absolutely 37 to 48 and Haryana wins here 27 raid points tamil nadu apo and only 24 for haryana and of course the defense was good for haryana 15 to 8 and three all out points uh, three times all out for haryana that was an edge and extra points also favored haryana 
And uh, yeah, of course, uh, we have seen super raids also from Haryana. But then Ajit Kumar was uh, definitely one of the favorites here with 13 raid points. And Jaydeep, uh, Jaydeep Kuldeep, Jaydeep Daya, as we call him, six tackle points from... And he also did a couple of errors as well in the defense. But then at the end of the day, winning matters. And it's time to sign off right now and you can stay tuned because a lot more action will be coming from the 70th Senior Nationals. Bidding goodbye for tonight is Raj.